I'm Don Fergus. I'm the Senior Vice President of Professional Services at Patriot Technologies, and this is a Security Chalk Talk. I'm here to talk to you about continuous monitoring. It's a topic that's been a buzzword in federal agencies for some time, and it's based on the efforts in information security to counteract a rash of attacks on our infrastructure. Now, whether those attacks come from cyber criminals, organized crime, nation states, or the inadvertent mistakes of our internal employees. Continuous monitoring is all about the ability of an organization to detect, report, respond, contain, and mitigate the attacks that occur on our infrastructure. So NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technologies, has recast its three-year certification and accreditation cycle into a continuous six-step risk management framework. And these six steps include the categorization of assets, the selection of controls, the implementation of those controls, the assessment of those controls, the authorization of systems, and the monitoring of those controls. And it's this sixth step that we're here to discuss. So continuous monitoring is nothing new, really. It's been around for some time. For years, our security professionals have been performing static analysis, whether from system logs, firewall logs, IDS, IPS logs, scanners, and so on. But these have been silo solutions. They don't talk to each other, and they don't provide the consolidation of events that allow for proper analysis and response. Today's continuous monitoring approaches give us the ability to aggregate all of these events, correlate them, compare them, and then estimate an organization's risk posture. If we take all of these pieces and then ensure the interworking between them, now we're getting somewhere. This is the crux of continuous monitoring. Let me take you through some of the basics of continuous monitoring, and then where we believe at Patriot we're going. So in the early days, we had a number of security point solutions. We had firewalls, IDS, and IPS, antivirus, email filters, vulnerability scanners, and so on. These gave us event logs, thousands of events, but we couldn't correlate this stuff. We didn't know that a ping sweep combined with a phishing attack and a known vulnerability was something that needed to be investigated. Today we have a bit more intelligence. We have endpoint protection and combined security information and event management systems. And this gives us a little bit more insight, but it's still not enough. In order for us to achieve continuous monitoring, we need to have all the parts talking to each other. Let me explain. So we have our security tools. We also have a series of endpoints, which in could include clients and servers, routers, switches, mobile devices, and so on. These two groups can then talk to a SEM device through a common language in a more automated fashion. Connected to that SEM are two very important components. The first one is a data warehouse. And to that data warehouse, we, have connect, we would connect analytics and security intelligence. The other point that, where that SEM is connected is to a governance, risk, and compliance system that gives us dashboarding. To that governance, risk, and compliance system, we attach a risk database which gives us actionable intelligence. 
So the key is to be able to know what's going on and to be able to react quickly. Now once we're able to do this, we're able to perform situational awareness where we're monitoring events on an ongoing basis and determining what level of risk we're experiencing. Security intelligence takes continuous monitoring and situational awareness to the next step. With security intelligence, we can correlate events at the SEM. We can perform network behavior and anomaly detection at the analytics engine. And we can perform network and application forensics as part of our intelligence. So this is what we believe continuous monitoring is all about. The integration of an organization's siloed security tools, the aggregation, normalization, and correlation of the data that's produced by these tools, the analysis of that data based on an organization's risk goals and threat knowledge, and the near real-time response to the risks identified. We at Patriot have been helping our clients mitigate information security risk for the past 16 years. We have over 30 of the leading InfoSec platform partners that we offer to our clients as either standalone solutions or integrated with other platforms. This then produces a holistic, continuous monitoring, situational awareness, and security intelligence solution. I welcome you to contact us to discuss how we can help you achieve your continuous monitoring goals. I'm Don Fergus, and this has been a Patriot Security Chop Talk. See you soon.